The earth quaked. Okay. Well, um, we're not going to eat that that well. Gudra gets one shot. Wochen took way too much, too. Well, that was a crit on Wochen. So what we're doing today is something illegal. We're breaking the law. It's not actually illegal. It's illegal in the, the Pokemon are not legal, but Pokemon Home dropped the other day. And tonight I am on stream with my viewers. Hey, say hello, viewers. You guys have a couple of seconds here. Um, and what we're going to do is just hop on the casual battle ladder and maybe get a couple of viewer battles. Um, and we're going to use the home Pokemon that I find the most interesting on what I think might be sort of a team that's kind of good. Keep in mind that I would not actually slot Enamorous onto this team. That's for the thumbnail. I, and also, I just really want to use, you know, uh, I, I just really want to use Landorus. Or I want, I want to use Enamorous. But yeah. All right. Let's uh, go back to this. I saw someone throw a curse word in the in the chat. Um, don't do that. Thank you. I, I'm not going to edit it out because I'm lazy, but I try to keep curse words off of my YouTube channel because YouTube doesn't like it. And I don't know how good their technology is getting. Maybe it can read now. I don't know if it can read. Anyways, let's see if we can get a good battle. All right. So this team is completely illegal. We'll probably just, you know, do whatever. All right. Um, it can't read. Will you say that? Because you're the one who said it. Okay. Hold on. Um, so, I mean, there's not really much thinking to do here. If it's a fun enough battle, I'll keep it in the video. But I'm pretty sure I can actually just completely annihilate this person. If I just, like, do my normal flow charts. I don't want to do the bulky stuff that I want to do because it just isn't smart. You know what? We'll do the bulky stuff that I want to do, even though it's not smart, because I think it'll be funny. Let's do this. Look, we're using double snail. <laughs> what did they do to Gudra? Lorsi, did you not play Legends Arceus? Okay, so far his team is legal. We'll roll with it. Oh my god, he's so sad. Wait, Lorsi's got a point. Lorsi's actually got a point. He's so sad looking. Just mortal spin here. Look, I'm double slugged up on a Tuesday night. We're doing it. Can Cresselia get a base stat told to nerf? Can someone confirm that? I remember hearing about that. Are you gonna trick room on me? Oh, he's gonna say. Brother, what? Bro pulled up with the safeguard Cresselia to the casual battle ladder? I mean, I can't I can't complain. I'm also running something a little, you know, stupid. Um let's see how much an earth power does. See if he's like a salt vest. I'm gonna protect. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not Assault Vest. If they don't Drain Punch, they're also probably within range of Earth Power Foul Play. Alright, well they did Drain Punch, but not in the thing that they needed to. Alright, let's do it. Watch, I know we're playing this like it's like a real game, but I, I guarantee you in about three seconds, we're going to be faced with Palkia Origin form. Going to bounce off of me. Yeah, that's that dollar store Moonblast. Look, Wojen can take Moonblast from like Specs Fluttermane. I, I don't care about this one. This is a dollar store Moonblast, bro. We can spawn see? No, okay. <laughs> Dude, honestly... I think Iron Hands Cresselia might be one of the most annoying like duos we're gonna have to face next year. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where is it? Where is it? Oh, he looks so good. Wait, he looks so good. What? Why is he crazy like that? Okay, hold on. All right, check this out. Check this out. 
Hit him with that leech seed. Let's hit him with that spiky shield. I'm going to Terra, obviously. Watch. This is going to be that dollar store dragon ascent. I guarantee you, we're gonna get be we're gonna we're gonna be hit by that dollar store dragon ascent. Oh, he dragon danced. All right, I'm very excited to click foul play next turn, sir. I, I'm pretty sure I can eat whatever you want to go for. It's Wo Chen. He's simply different. Hopefully I don't miss this. Alright. Alright. When I said Dollar Store Dragon Ascent, I meant it. Get ready, guys. Get ready. Yeah, it's it's Sap Super it's Sap Super Gudra, yeah. I forgot, does Hisuian Gudra get Overcoat, or did they get changed to Sap Sipper? If it gets Overcoat, I should be running Overcoat. Um, but since, you know, it had Sap Sipper, I was like, cool, Spore Immunity. Alright, check this out. It's gonna be that Dollar Store. Be that Dollar Store Dragon Ascent. It got changed to Shell Armor? Yeah, then, then Sap Sipper's always the best for the Spore Immunity. And also, if you want to run, like, you know side leech seed target what i tell you it's dollar store dragon ascent bro this very quasi just bought a one-way ticket to silly goose world you know it's just, it's just going down bro i like how i keep trying to foul play something and it keeps dropping before i can Incredible. The team is no longer protected by safeguard. I'm going to click mortal spin and it's going to be funny. It floats? Put your feet on the ground. What are you doing? Put, get down. Get down from there now. What are you doing, dude? Gudra hasn't been in this match the whole game. Let's just send him in. Is it supposed to touch the ground? First of all, I like this Palkia design. Some of you guys just have bad taste. If you like the Dialga design and not the Palkia design, I don't know what to tell you. Some of us just aren't cut out to be like, you know, art artists. I'm not an artist, by the way, but I, I, some of us are less cut out to be artists. Well, I'm fairly certain I'm not going to get to click my Draco Meteor, but I'm going to try. I think it'd just be swell, the Draco Meteor, that thing. Mainly just because I got that spit up drop. How much will Foul Play do? I dislike both. Am I cut out to be an artist? Yes, and unfortunately, I think you're a better artist than me then. So the bar is pretty low. Wow. Another dollar store attack. Incredible. Wow. Well, I am going to get to click this move. Wait, I didn't know it went up that high. That's hilarious. All right, you're probably living this, to be honest, but you're not living the turn. All right. Well, I'm going to click Steel Beam because it's funny now. Why do I see Horse Palkia? Because I'm on the casual battle ladder. You know, we, we don't have a lot of control over what we face here. 
I'm gonna try one more and then I'll switch over to viewer battles. All right, hit him with that foul play and I really wanna click the steel beam because I haven't seen the animation in game yet. He's gone. No, Chris Elliott, it's not worth it. <laughs> Wait, hold on, does that not do what I thought it did? Am I thinking of Lunar Dance? Oh, what does Lunar Blessing do? I thought it was just gonna like KO itself. I'm like, it's not worth it, Griselia. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to Milwaukee. Lunar Blessing is jungle healing. Okay, well that's <laughs> it's kind of a lame move. Although, when uh, the mythicals were legal, I did run jungle healing next to Groudon. Because the, the, the synergy was just there, bro. The synergy was just there. They were like two peas in a pod. All right, well, I mean, I'm just all in puff, whatever. Jungle healing plus life do? No, it's just jungle healing. Because jungle healing also restored HP. Unless it recovers double, in which case... Oh, cool. Alright, let's try one more. And if it doesn't work out, we'll do a viewer battle. Okay. I'm gonna assume this will be fine. If not, I'll change it. That's so funny, it doesn't block it. That explains why, you know, they said, hey, for Milwaukee, don't bring any transfer Pokemon. That's so funny. This game's such a mess. All right, full disclosure, once again, my home Pokemon aren't actually like trained right, so we'll see what we can do. I also don't have proper Taros. But it looks like we're facing hard Trick Room. That can be an issue. Be quite the issue. Get off like this. Yeah. And this looks like a real team, too. Wait, I think I know that guy. Yeah, he's in the chat. I'd be a lot more comfortable going into this one if I had a better Terra on my, um, my Gudra. That being said, this isn't that bad of a lead. I'm trying to think. Um, what's the Cresselia's probable Terra? If it's Flame Orb Ursa Luna, I'm actually pretty fine just going for the for the big damage. Let's do this. Check this out. This is my this is my big brain play. This is my big brain play. I don't think they're gonna protect the Ursa Luna. Fairy. Okay, glad I didn't go for the Dark Pulse. Alright, check this out. They're not gonna protect the Ursa Luna. They did protect the Ursa Luna. They they are they are smarter than me. 
I, I know that protecting Ursaluna is pretty standard for the Trick Room setup, but I just thought, you know, maybe, maybe they won't. Maybe they won't. Oh, I could have just um, annihilated this Cresselia. Luckily, we have what is as close to a hard counter to Ursaluna as possible in Wo Chen, but um, I don't know where I want to send him in. Because we can get facaded, right? I think my middle ground play would just be to send in the Gudra and just hard double switch. Yeah, let's do this. So I'm going to go Wo Chen here. And I'm going to go Gudra here. See, I'm hoping for a facade, but my opponent should be able to tell by the life orb and the fact that I, you know, was willing to Terra that, you know, there's a good chance. If they Earthquake, I'm going to throw up. They Earthquaked. Okay. Well, um, we're not going to eat that that well. Gudra gets one shot. Wo Chen took way too much, too. Well, that was a crit on Wo Chen. Okay. Let's think. I think that my play here is the following. Now, if I were my opponent, I would say that there's no shot that I, being me in this hypothetical, am going to not protect the Chiyu and try to go for an attack with the Wo Chen. So I'm going to do just the opposite. Because I think they want a facade. I don't really see them going for an Earthquake here. Yeah, especially the fact that they're switching out tells me they're not going to go for Earthquake. Oh, wait, no, that might be an Earthquake. No, they do have another Flying type. Alright, cool, I got the play right. A little chunk of damage. A little bit of Life Orb recoil. How many turns left to Trick Room? Probably two. turns off the trick room. Okay, I see my win con. It's just not great. I'm gonna hope here that they just want to go for like, you know, anything <laughs> that doesn't KO like my Flutterman. I have to play for a Chiyu endgame. Yeah, I figured they would want to go for Moonblast there. And they do go for Earthquake. Okay, that's not good. I think I just lose them. I have to get a double protect with um with Chiyu to win. Yeah, basically what I was going for there was like, okay, well, if I can stall out like one more turn of Trick Room, they just lose to Dazzling Gleam plus like uh, Dazzling Gleam plus Heat Wave. But I didn't want to stay in with um, Wo Chen because it was fairly obvious they would want to go for a Moonblast. So yeah, my win con is double protect. Protect. Please, 30% chance to win. 30% chance to win. 
They withdraw the Ursa Luna. If they go into Enamorous, that's fine. Or if they go into Cresselia, that's fine. Or is it? Let me think. We saw Life Orb on the Enamorous, so there's no AV there. Dang, this would have gone so much better if I didn't try to make that play turn one. I should have just played it straightforward. I would have prevented Trick Room. Okay. What are my best odds of preventing Trick Room? Getting another Ultra Super Mega Crit, but that's not likely. To go for Helping Hand. Did I get another Ultra Super Mega Crit? Or does it just do that much? Alright, there's no way that my uh, my guy lives this hit, but actually that's not the worst for me, because Chi Yu... Oh, I, I just dropped. No, I was going to say Chi Yu should be able to like just go for a Heat Wave now, but the Dazzling Gleam just, just seals it up. Because I can go for a Heat Wave, and I'm going to pick up a KO, but it's not going to be on anything that like is going to win me the game, because obviously I dropped on my own Life Orb. There we go. Yeah. So obviously Chi Yu goes pretty hard into this team. Uh, my main mistake was literally just turn one. I, I just said like, oh, it's pretty obvious I want to double the Cresselia. So I think I just don't double the Cresselia. And that was my bad. All right, good game. Yeah, I mean, Ursaloon is obviously really, really strong. Good game, C-Buddy. Yeah, I mean, so obviously the turn one is pretty telegraphed, protect Trick Room, and it was just like, I was so like intent on making sure I didn't give you even an inch of wiggle room that I was like, if I attack the Ursaluna, like I, I know it probably wants to protect, but if I attack the Ursaluna here, it's just an immediate turn one win. And I was not, I was not, um, I was, I was not correct in that play. Honestly, same. Uh-oh, it's another Ursaluna. We've already kind of established we don't have the tools to beat this sort of thing, so we have to just hammer at this team, bro. Just gotta hammer at it. I do think that if they end up going with Indeedy Armorage, um, Udra's fine. I just wish I had Terra Water on it. Alright, Bronzong Titar. Um, I'm willing to commit to this. For the sake of preventing this trick room, I'm willing to commit to this admittedly possibly awful play. I just think that I don't see a universe where this thing... This Bronzong wouldn't terastalize to survive a hit. I just don't see a, a, a way it would not terastalize here. This protect isn't common. They're just withdrawing it. Okay, can I get the Ursaluna? That'd be cool. All right, cool. Ursaluna neutralized. Cool. I, I'll take that trade any day of the week. I will take that trade any day of the week. Ursaluna neutralized, bro. I already know you're not Assault Vest. There's no way you run that. Terra Rock. Okay. So this Rock Slide's probably going to get a double KO. 
I can't afford to miss this heat wave on the Ursaluna. Oh, it just one shots. Cool. Burn? I demanded, in fact. No burn. Rock slide? Okay. I don't see uh I don't see Fluttermane living this turn. Oh it did! Okay, what a good Pokemon. Hmm. Let's go Gudra here. There's Cresselia. I really have to hope this isn't a weakness policy Tyranitar. I don't think it is. It might be is the issue. And I don't really have an alternative to spamming Muddy Water. I'd imagine it's just like a Salt Vest T-Tar if anything on this team. I switch. Oh my god. I am not gonna look forward to facing that. When this becomes legal, I'm not looking forward to it. Can you not be policy, please? Accuracy drop? Poggers. Still land both. Doesn't do anything, really. Critical hit on Gudra, too. Alright. Yeah, like I said, I'm not looking forward to facing that in the near future. You guys ready for a certified Hood Classic? Check this out. Watch this epic Poggers play. Actually, I need to check my speed stats. This might be idiotic. 92. Yeah, no, I don't do that. <laughs> I was going to go for Steel Beam, bro. I was like, oh yeah, gaming. I would not have been gaming. Actually, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's Assault Vest. Let's just do this. Alright, that's good damage. Accuracy drop, please. Oh, I did so much. Hopefully that sends it in range of the other one. Not quite. Accuracy drop, thank you. Yes, they're trick rooming. I don't think I care that much, though. I don't see how they beat the Wo Chun. I'm going to repeat this. It might helping hit a body press for all I know. Okay, that's fine. Iron defense. Okay. Well, luckily it doesn't have good recovery. And Tablets of Ruin does actually help out with that. for this leech seed and another muddy water awesome we dodge skill dodge nice little accuracy drop leech seed i'm telling you Terra water like gudra plus wo chen is actually going to be solid because we actually get a good water type oh my god skill dodge I think that's just game. I think I just protect. How many turns of trick room left? Did it run out? Two turns left. I really don't lose anything by attacking. Nope, that's game. Sick. 
Okay. Cool. I think, yeah. So, Muddy Water is, like, the best move ever. And I'm really excited to be able to click Muddy Water next to Gujar. Honestly, I'm most excited to click Tapu Fini. I, I want to use Wo Chen Tapu Fini. I think that's going to be really, really good. That's that's my hot take for the future format. But, yeah. Good game to Bambi. Uh, apologies for the accuracy drops. Sometimes, you know, you just bust it down that way. Um, but, yeah. That's going to be it for tonight's stream. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a like. Subscribe for notifications. And if you're watching on Twitch, thank you for coming out. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice one. Bye.